guys, it's Amanda and Brianna and I got Brianna here and we are going to do some special shopping today. Of course, uh, week of Black Friday on Saturday, I don't know if you know this, uh, Saturday is Small Business Saturday and so what we want to encourage people to do is shop with a local small business. So I am actually, I have a friend of mine who has, well there's a couple of small businesses involved here. First of all I have a friend who has an Etsy business and then there's a local boutique that also features some of her art. So we're going to go in here and check out her art. She's actually making me a barn quilt. So you're going to see what they look like if you don't know what one is. And you're going to see some of her other art. And I'm going to actually link my friend's Etsy page or Etsy shop down in the description box. And I'll also put some information about this boutique if you want to come hang out and see what it is in a little corner of North Carolina. So anyway, let's go see what they have and maybe do a little Christmas shopping. Barbara, I've Hi. I've talked about you actually in my live event. I don't know if you know this. We've talked about how you're my homeschool group. Right. We've known each other for a lot of years, and uh, we have mutual friends that sometimes watch the videos. Right. So anyway, so my friend Barbara, she runs an Etsy shop. Do you want to tell them the name of it? It is Paint with Barbara Jean. Okay. Uh, again, I'm going to have a link in the description box down below. She's here at Dragonfly, and this is a little boutique which features a lot of local artists and artisans and all of their wares, and it's a really great place to come and get locally made items. And so they feature her items. There's some things here that are her, not all of this is Barbara's, but I, I really love how they've placed all of the different artisans in one spot, and you can really enjoy everything. But here we have the barn quilts. Barbara has other stuff. We'll show you more of that in a minute. But here are the barn quilts, which is what I'm thinking about getting for our house. And do you want to tell us, like, because you painted all these, right? Yes. And Barbara yes. also holds classes, too, so you learn how to paint. Yeah. But, um, so, like, this one is did not have a frame. No, this one doesn't have a frame. So you don't have to have, how do you hang these if they don't have a frame? This is an exterior barn quilt, so you can hang it on the outside of your house, mm -hmm. and you just, um take some screws and just screw it right into the, the outside side of the house. That's how we've been selling these. Yeah, it makes sense with the brighter colors too that that would really pop against right. the outside of the house. And mine's gonna go inside the house though because Rick won't let me. So this would right. be the framed one is more of an inside the house yes. decor I piece. I can frame them for outside but um, then I do have to use uh, a special sealer and that kind of thing on them for outside. and. I don't I, I don't typically like the framed ones for outside because they're not um I, you really can't see the frame yeah on okay. the house but inside they look nice framed i want to say well you painted i just will point out how barbara has some skills look at this chicken i love the chicken side note but anyway back to the barn quilts um i really like the gray and white ones like i know that you know it doesn't have a lot of color but i'm trying to tone down the colors in my house you know, right. I love and those are really popular. They're just are simple they? and yeah, just uh, gray and white. Yeah, I like um, this, especially for inside. I'll pick this one up. I kind of like this one because it has like the little, I don't know, it's it's a little more busy. This one's a little more um, stationary. I don't know. It's, this one feels like it has more movement. But like, look at these together. Barbara and I were talking a minute ago about how you could get like three of these and put them over your bed for like a little 
try scene. I don't know. I think it's so cute. I love this. Yes. But I think this is the direction we're going to go. What size is this one? That one's just 12 by 12. 12 by 12. I think we're going to go and with the, the bigger one. 24 by 24. Okay. And framing, you know, these really need to be framed. So I just um, haven't had time to make a frame for it. But um, I would frame this mm -hmm. and put a gray stain on okay. the frame. Okay. Put a hanger on the back and you hang it right on your wall. That sounds great. So one this size, about how much would this run? This one unframed is 25. Oh, how reasonable. And framed would be 35. Okay. So. And the 24 by 24, how much would that run if they went ahead and get it on your Etsy shop? Those are, um, unframed is like 125. Mm -hmm. And then framed would be 150. Okay. So you can do more than just these patterns though, right? You can, oh, there's yeah, like absolutely. a world of patterns on uh, Pinterest. If you guys, if you are interested yes. in getting one and, and you might want Barbara to uh, make one for you, you can go on Pinterest and look for any of the patterns. She can do almost any pattern, right. any color. Yes. Just gotta pick your patterns and colors if you, you want one, but that's right. super reasonable. And I drew these patterns, but that one, my husband had to draw. The geometric? <laughs> Like, I can't even see that. <laughs> so he drew that one for me. He did a really good job. I'm very impressed. Well, then numbered it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. I'm so glad that you showed us this because this gives me a better idea so I can pick one. I think we're going to go with the bigger size of something like this. So we'll be back. How long do you think it'll take to make? Um, usually about a week. About a so. week. Okay, yeah. so in a week we'll come back and get our... Uh, we'll pick up our barn quilt and have that. You guys can see it. But uh, thanks for thanks for showing us. Oh, thanks, so I am too. I love to paint. Wasn't that super fun? I love going into those little stores and seeing all the handmade items. I don't know, it just makes me feel so comfy, cozy, and it's so much better environment than going in all those big stores. We went out Black Friday shopping uh, yesterday. We're gonna do it again today. So, I mean, I think the being in the boutique was just so much nicer. And the quality of the items, you know, you, you, you feel good knowing that you're getting something from a local artisan and you're supporting them and their family. So anyway, go out tomorrow and support your local small businesses. Find something that you can purchase that's going to help your local community and make you feel better about purchasing it. And if you just want to stay home after all those days of shopping, Etsy's a great place to hit up local artisans uh, that are not necessarily in your area, but actual specific artists, and you can support them and their families, and you can check it all out just by scrolling. So anyway, again, my friend Barbara's link is down in the description box if you want to check out her store. Almost any of the things that you saw that were painted, she can make, even if they're not currently listed on her Etsy store. So all you got to do is just send her a little 
note and just as a special bonus for all of you guys who are watching she's offering free shipping and the code is AMANDA all caps I'm gonna have all that information again down in the description box uh, so you can have free shipping it, it'll be almost like you went to go purchase it from the boutique but instead you can stay in your house and don't even have to worry about paying for gas so that's a great deal for you too and I just I would appreciate it if you guys uh, were an encouragement to her she has been such a blessing to me over the years I cannot tell you she is an actual genuine long time many year friend of mine we've been homeschooling together for years we teach classes together and I, I count her as one of my best friends so I appreciate you guys being an encouragement to her. oh and don't forget to check out dragonfly too I'm gonna have their link down in the description box so anyway you all have a wonderful weekend and I will be back earlier in the week to show you all the great deals that we picked up and next week I will definitely show you the bard quilt I'm so excited about it. You have no idea. Like, I have been wanting to change the decor of my house for so long. Rick's had me watching all these Chip and Joanna, and I'm like, I want something cute. So this is going to be like my first step to changing the house. All right, that's it. You guys have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came to visit us here at the Fundamental Home. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you click the like button and also click subscribe right below me for more videos coming into your inbox all the time. And also, if you enjoy social media, we've got links up at the top here for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other fun things. And check out thefundamentalhome.com for more information about what we're doing all the time and how we do it, because there's way more details there. And uh, here, over to the right, we have some videos that I recommend. So thanks again for coming by, and we'll see you next time. Bye!